All right, we're going to be doing uh, what I call a rear takedown. There's a lot of ways to do this. Um, basically, how I get to her back. There's a lot of ways to do this. So if I'm in this position, I might do like an arm drag and get to her back like this position. So that could be. We could be in this position. I could duck under and get to the back. But however, I need to get in that position. I could even be in a front clinch and she reaches over my head and then I just take the back. But the position I want when I'm on her back, we'll talk about that. I want my head kind of hidden a little bit so that it's not just sticking out here and she can grab me or elbow me too easily. So I'm a little bit hidden. And I want this arm across the waist. If it's in the middle like this, she can posture up. And it's easier for, for her to fight those arms and break them down. When it's on the side, it's a little harder for her to do that. So I like to offset this, bring this deep across here. I also don't like to keep this grip or this grip because it's easier for her to peel this off. So I do what I call an S grip. I put my fingers together and hide my fingers so it's harder for her to peel the fingers. So whenever I get to this position, let's say we're starting here, and I arm drag and I get to there, I make that little S grip and I lock my elbows in tight and hide my head. Now the way I like to do it is to keep my hips back on the rear clinch. So I should feel kind of like an anchor to her. So if she's trying to move forward, she's always kind of being drugged. And I have my center of gravity low on her, my hands across. Now it would be even better if she is fighting the hands for me to catch this hand. Because once I get one arm in, it's harder for her to fight those hands off because she doesn't have two hands to fight the hands off with. But we'll do it with no hands in for right now. So we're going to be in this position. Now I'm going to step off to the side a little bit with my right foot, block her foot with my left foot, and then pull her down. But I'm going to have a little, uh, like a little rubber band action with my arms. Mistakes are people pull them on them. But I want to have a little space for her to fall beside me. And then when I kind of, like a rubber band with my hands, and then pull myself on top of her. So when we're in this position, and I take her down, I'm going to step with my right, and extend my left leg so she can't step back with this foot. Then I kind of ride up and go to like a modified mount position. Then I have the top position. So we'll try that again. So however we get there, when we get to the back position, I adjust, I'm keeping my hips back, and I'm going to step, block her step back, and then rubber band kind of my arms. And then kind of ride up to this top position. So like I said, some mistakes people do are that they, they'll pull people and they'll fall right on top of them. You want to go over to the side and let them fall to the side of you and then use that momentum to help pull, I even cup on the leg to help pull me up on top of them so we don't just both end up laying on the ground. So we're going to take the back from a standing position then we're going to get down there, and then we're going to end up on top of them in like a mounted position. And that's uh, the rear takedown.